surfing? You go surfing after you've, you know, you retire from <laughs> you, pro surfing. You do more surfing. And we got more surfing in the water right now. New matchup, heat number five, round the 32. Defending world champ, Felipe Toledo, coming up against a wild card, getting a start here, Morgan Siblick. So what a matchup we have here in this heat. How uncharacteristically low scoring this heat is. Before that wave, it was a, Medina had a five and a four. Barron's only had a three five and a 2-1-7. This is a, an, an uncharacteristically low scoring heat. If he'd be incrementally increasing on that five, will he get to it? Quick up and out, that was Morgan Siblick in the non-priority heat. And live action here with Morgan Siblick. Morgs. Just a couple cutbacks. Felipe Toledo right behind him. Kicks out to keep position. Morgs trying to get through this flat section. Just uh, lackluster on the inside here. And just needs a ride back out to the peak from the Red Bull jet ski. Yeah, the jet ski driver, he knew he wasn't making it. He already came to pick him up. So we see some sets. This is going to be opportunity for Baron Mamiya. They are going to get to him on in time. He's got 50 seconds on the clock. Toledo, non-priority heat, and Toledo, our defending champ, looking sharp. Oh, wow, we might have too much set happening here for Baron. 36 seconds remaining as the world champ finishes up this ride with a bit of a foam climb. And Felipe Toledo got into the action two bugs. Yeah, well, there's a replay of, of Toledo's last wave. And he's really trying to leave his opponent behind. So he's zigging and zagging, and this is what you do to keep the speed up. And he's so brilliant at doing and connecting the sections. This wave, he kind of runs out of open face. And uh, a big white water takeoff there by Morgan Siblick. It seems like this incoming tide may be affecting the uh, the break just a bit. Here goes Siblick using priority. Morgs down carve there. Wants to time it back up into the lip. Has to cut that one short to stay with this wave. And he is hoping that this one will give him a ticket to the inside shore break. Well, he'll, he'll have a chance at redeeming more points. Morgan forced snap and because of that forced snap finds some sticky rails and goes down. Yeah, that was a un, He'd be unhappy with that finish that would have got him well and truly back in the heat it, it, it really should be his best score and that's what you're looking for That's where you're going to get your points. Sometimes you have to pay for those though You're going to take a few on the head before you can get them. So here's that here's the outside ones rolling through as a white water takeoff Big snap there for Seth Moniz. And Seth just getting that one turn in. I'm sorry, that's Morgan Siblick. I thought we were gonna have a heat here. Uh, but yeah, the conditions are really hard out there. And yeah, unfortunately he couldn't make, the, make it through. Um, but yeah, now it's time to go, you know. Uh, I'm, I feel ready, my birds are really good. I uh, feel really good and yeah, I just, just won the wave, <laughs> really. And coming up against Ethan, what can we expect from that matchup? Uh, Ethan is a great surfer, especially here. Uh, and I know I gotta get the, the two best ones of the heat, so yeah, I'll pay attention for that. Gabby, thanks for your time. Thanks. Gabe Medina, the download there. Morgan Siblick took the lead over Felipe Toledo Siblick on yet another wave. That's going to be his seventh wave ridden. If he improves upon a 3.5, he'll further distance himself for Felipe Toledo. It's flattened right out. So here oh, we go. There he is. Ah. Toledo. Nice start with that hook. Eases through a cutback. Staying with the white water. Just composing himself coming into the shore break. This is where this heat is going to be made or broken for Felipe Toledo. Well, you know one thing, he's definitely going to make it to the shore break. Light footed through this section, needs a steep wall in front of him. He's running out of wave, running out of water. Here we go, Toledo, a little late there. 
really had to force that. Here it is, Bugs Toledo. Yeah, well, it's a good looking outside wall. Yeah, that was solid right there. You know, you've got to be thinking that first turn set up at least a four point ride. Yeah, that, that rail turn out there, just slicing through, ultra sharp on the sharp eye. And uh, that, that could have been it. We're still waiting to make it official. We have no indication as of yet from the judges, but you can see a lot of downtime here. And the finish, you know, he would have won a better finish than this. But gets there, goes complete. I mean, 4.3, now it's official. Felipe Toledo on to the round of 16. Tight contest between him and Morgan Siblick. We're gonna take a Bonzoi brew break. We'll be back with more right after this.